For Power Mom, we are partnering with organizations all across the country to reach out to pregnant people. We're considered a vulnerable population, and so research just isn't done. So in general, Pregnant people were not included in research because originally we were seen as a protected population. And then when you look at the disparities within the type of pregnant people included in research, you see a large underrepresentation within Black, Hispanic, Native American, really ethnic and racial minorities. And we rely on each other. We rely on a community, whether it be your mom, your sister, your friends. That's how we're getting our information because there's so little research. How to understand maternal health, to promote much healthier moms and new babies, particularly at a time when we know that the American data are not good in that area, especially in underrepresented minorities. Looking at maternal health just from the visits that a pregnant person has with their primary care physician are informative, and we learn a lot from that, but it's not enough. All of these data points can inform our research, but ultimately you have to get to a point where you're transforming that and translating and returning it back to the participant, back to the individual in a tangible way. Unfortunately, we're still number one amongst developed nations in maternal morbidity in general. When you look at different racial and ethnic backgrounds, you see that Black and Hispanic pregnant people bear the brunt of that disparity. Using a digital platform, the center allows the participant to participate in the research on their own time. It's flexible and it makes it more ubiquitous. It puts the participant first. We saw this most recently in COVID, where pregnant people were excluded from the vaccine trials. When I was really public about how I got my COVID-19 vaccines when I was in my third trimester of pregnancy, I received so much positive feedback. And I think that type of partnership enables trust within the participant and the researcher because it's a bi-directional type of communication. With the center, you have the ability to actually see how your data impacts the study in general. We're giving them their data back. We're giving them analytics. And this is each individual's potential to gain insights about their health, to stay healthy. The center has worked to widen the participant involved in clinical research because it makes it available for anybody who has some type of mobile device to access research. And the innovation that the center brings to the research community is unparalleled. So for us, it's really taking this holistic approach. But ultimately, that's just one part of it. I think our recognition of the impact of disease, our recognition of health disparities, health inequities, health inequalities, and aligning our own research missions with those opportunities, that's what starts separating us from the pack. So I really wanted to use PowerMom as a way to really address health disparities and actually truly create a healthy pregnancy for everybody, and that's been one of their central missions of Power Mom.